Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTech Career. In this video, I'm going to do the CPU totaling comparison between the iQOO 7 device versus iQOO 9 device. Snapdragon 88 Plus chipset versus Snapdragon 870 chipset. Let's see how much difference can be there between these both phones regarding the CPU totaling graph. That's what I'm going to demonstrate and how much high temperatures also the both phones will increase during this process of demonstration. These are the few things which I'll try to concentrate in this video. All the apps are completely clear from the background and let's open the CPU totaling. And let me try to keep this phone in the aeroplane mode as well, yes. And I'll try to disable this ultra game mode as well. So ultra game mode is disabled completely in this uh, application. Let me even try to delete this CPU totaling from this. So yeah, CPU totaling has been completely deleted from the ultra game mode. Now, these are the settings which I'm trying to use exactly 100 threads for 15 minutes of time. Let's do the basic test, like 15 minutes. Let's see what's gonna happen with this 15 minutes of time. What will be the aura graph and how will be the temperatures? Let's start the test. I can be back after some time, maybe close to 5 or uh, 10 minutes of time. Right now, as you can see, we did reach about 10 minutes of time exactly. In 10 minutes, this is how the graph looks like between these both phones. Yes, exactly the graph. And regarding the temperatures, 40 degrees and 40 degrees. Same temperatures, but different kind of graph and different kind of performance levels. So, the Snapdragon 870 is pretty uh, stable regarding the performance. It's very stable. It's not decreasing and increasing. Throttling is not, hap not happening at all in the Snapdragon 870. And I will be back after some time, maybe close to 15 minutes of time. So finally, friends, we got the CPU totaling test results between these both phones exactly. You can clearly see what's happening here. So CPU total up to 80% and CPU total up to 89% between these both phones. And the performance scores, the highest is kind of pretty same, 347, 347. And the average, try to look at the average, 321 and 298. And minimum 270 and 3 lakhs. It's like it was able to maintain completely above 3 lakhs. That's really good with the Snapdragon 870 chipset friends in the iQOO 7 device, especially as you can clear is here. So this is friends. Thank you for watching and straight up more updates. In case if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And meanwhile, signing off and temperatures are completely very similar between these both phones right now as well. Exactly same. Nothing much huge difference. Meanwhile, signing off until instead of more updates and bye.